Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, think. I, I don't think it I... looks like mm -hmm. someone's thesis project. Yeah. You can see that some of the students are very inspired by previous awards. Uh, that's quite obvious. And that's very good that they are inspired by the themes. For instance, the theme of the urban context. What do we do with underground spaces? What do we do with the metro stations? What do we do in the narrow streets uh, in, in the cities? How will daylight be utilized and, and derived into the narrow street? But also the, uh, the considerations about what we need for our human health is really obvious also in several of the projects. It's, it's really uh, visible that the students think and they consider uh, light in a very broad perspective. I think there was a huge breadth um, of different kinds of entries, different levels of success in terms of the kind of ability to communicate quite complex ideas. Uh, the requirements were fairly limited. They weren't asked to do many, many panels, so they had to work, I think, very hard to um, be essential about what to show and what not to show. Um, so we spent a lot of time. Our first day was really, I would say, very hard work because we took it very seriously and we looked very carefully at a, a huge number of entries. Uh, I must say at the beginning it was incredibly difficult and um, I personally had to take a step back and think about like walking in the forest, how when you first walk into a forest you're a bit disorientated but if you keep walking slowly, slowly the, there's a, an understanding that comes across you. So I took a step back and I reviewed the projects incredibly slowly to start with and that gave me some sense of understanding of both the level of submission and the variety of thinking. When you do a, a competition like this you produce something which has the potential to shift your world. The projects that touch uh, um, me particularly and some of the jury members were specifically projects that had that ability to connect with the past and and the present and the future and the sense of how uh, daylighting and the idea of light and architecture can be a great way to connect uh, us with a place and with a sense of the the memory of a place. We would like to promote daylight in buildings. We would like to promote that buildings are healthy uh, with plenty of daylight and fresh air in the buildings. So. Uh, this dialogue with the future generations of architects is extremely important to our business and to Alux.